Hi there, it's Professor Monty. Let's talk about graphing a line using slope-intercept formula. Okay, so remember slope-intercept formula is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope, that's the number in front of the x, the coefficient, and b is the y-intercept, just the constant. Okay, so the idea is when I'm going to graph this, I'm going to plot the y-intercept as my first point. Starting at the y-intercept, I'm going to use the slope to find a second point, plot that point, and then just draw the line through those two points. Let me show you what I mean. So I've got y plus 5x minus 3, and it's already in my slope-intercept form. So I look at this and I say, okay, that must be the slope, or that's m. That must be the y-intercept, or b. And so I start off and I just draw the I say, okay, my y-intercept's negative 3, so let's just go there, and that's my first point on the graph. The slope is 5, and remember, the slope we usually think of that as the rise over the run. Well, as a fraction, 5 is 5 over 1. So the rise is 5, meaning I go up 5. The run is 1, so I go right 1 from the y-intercept. So I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or I go right 1, draw a dot there. The line through my two points looks like this. Now I'll go ahead and label this. This was 0, negative 3. Let's say I went right 1, so I'm at 1. I went up 5, so I went up 2 past here. So it's 1, 2. That's my line. Done. Here's another graph. This time it's not in slope intercept form, so I need to put it in slope intercept form, meaning I just need to solve for y. So let's, I've got 4x plus 2y equals 12. I'm going to subtract the 4x. I get 2y. I like to put the x first so that it's in this order. And now I have to divide by 2, but remember when I divide by 2, I divide everything by 2. So I get negative 2x plus 6. So this time my m, or my slope, is negative 2, and my b, or my y-intercept, is 6. So now when I do it, I start at 6, my y-intercept. I go, again, slope-wise, it's negative 2. Think of it as a fraction, negative 2 over 1. This time I go down 2 and right 1. From the y-intercept, I go down to right 1. That's my line. Again, this point was 0, 6. I went right 1, but I went down 2, so it's 1, 4. And just as quickly as that, I can graph my line using slope-intercept form. I don't have to plot two points. Notice I really did plot two points, but it was the y-intercept plus a second point that the slope gives me. All right, hope that helps. Do this, this will pay off well. This is my favorite way of graphing.